So let's talk a little bit about Palm Drive, the song that the fine people at Guitar Techniques, Jason Sidwell, sent me. Um, first thing, when I listened to the song, it was very funky. There's like this uh, bass line that's doubled <laughs> with a synth. So I figured there's no reason to really do that all the way through the A section. So I put in a little funky wah-wah part thinking that would help it kind of groove along. I tried to nail the little lines at the end of the uh, four measure phrase. Um, um, those kind of lines um, at the end of the four measures, just to kind of give it some continuity. Uh, when it went to the chords, I pretty much, pretty much played the chords um, that were written. Um, and because they're kind of out of the norm for guitars to play this kind of fusion stuff, I mean, for most guitar players, I just kind of thought it'd, it'd make more sense if I nailed the arpeggio of the chords. So I played chord tones pretty much through the whole thing, so. You know, uh, and then I tried to go to the minor seven flat five. Um, and then the sus four, of course, and then the kind of strange chords come up where it starts at F sharp major. It kind of comes out of nowhere. So a lot of times when chords happen like this, it don't have a lot to do with the chords in front of the, in front of them. Like if it's a half step modulation or something like that, it's best to play chord tones, I think. So that I was kind of trying to base. motif happening with chord tones that makes it uh, kind of glue it together a little better. Um, we can give them the chance. Um, I'll go crazy with the scale and play some stuff, but if it's a, kind of an abrupt key change to my ears, I'll try to stick with chord tones just to keep it. Um, something happen that sounds a little more grounded. Uh, went to the uh, G over A, which is like an A sus and B sus, which I just kind of went, uh, kind of played the and then I soloed. Uh, the first, the second time around on the A section, I just kind of went crazy in E minor, which is great for that's the guitar player's favorite key. Um, and once again, when it started changing chords, I tried to change with the scales. When I went to G to G minor, I kind of played D G minor arpeggios um, all the way through the song. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, the decision to play wah wah on this is just kind of based on hearing and knowing R and B for a long time. And when you record, you should try to remember to record it pretty dry. Uh, wah wah parts don't need to be swimming a lot because they're they kind of are more almost as percussive as they are melodic. Sometimes more so, just a wah, 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 wah. you don't really need all that ambience going on. So I try to keep that dry. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Palm Drive. It's kind of fun to play too.